Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Stefan, it's day three of IBC. How's the show been? Day three? God, I'm exhausted. It's been fantastic. We couldn't have actually asked for a better show. It really has. It's been fantastic. Oh, fantastic. So talk to me about Polcam. How are you positioned in the broadcast and media industry? So we've been around 20 plus years. I don't want to actually say the figure. It makes me feel a little too old. But we've been around a long time. We started and we still do a broadcast camera crane. Carbon fiber, lightweight for traveling. But we've developed uh, a new product. And the problem is with the industry, as you know, if you don't keep, if you stand still, you die. So you have to listen to your customers, you have to listen to the market, you have to watch the market. So we are moving, I would say, not out of broadcast, but we're joining in from our broadcast with our corporate clients and with our medical clients with products that really focus on the PTZ market or PTZ market, uh, which has become a massive growth over the last few years. And the Autopod product is designed specifically for that. We jokingly refer to ourselves as the fourth axis in PTZ, pan, tilt, zoom, and elevation. So on that note, what trends are you seeing unfolding in the industry, and what are you doing to meet the demands of those trends? The industry trend that we're focusing on is the PTZ remote market. And we're just seeing continuous growth in that. And it's gone from being what was traditionally a CCTV to a sort of low-end budget production. And now the core manufacturers, Sony, Panasonic, Canon, they're all coming out with high-end, full frame, you know, almost cinema camera quality. And so we are developing our products to increasingly meet those quite stringent requirements that these customers have. But the other side of it is the remote operation. In short, you know, Ethernet, Internet control. And we are now seeing on a regular basis companies that will have multiple studios globally but being controlled from one place. We're seeing broadcast events, whether it be the World Skiing Championships in RA in Sweden, for example, with production on site on the mountain but all the trucks are parked back in the capital in the warehouse and this control there. So this is what we are working on. And we're working very specifically with the manufacturers. We like to think of ourselves of a, as an agnostic sort of company. We're not locked into anyone. We want to work with anyone and everyone. If somebody comes to us and says, we kind of like your stuff, but we want it to work with our stuff, we go, there's the integration manual, off you go, do you need any help? So that's where we're seeing this trend going. And we're seeing it in rock and roll touring, we're seeing it in medical now, more and more in medical. It is an area that we've grown into quite well. The filming of surgical procedures for training. The days of actually having to scrub trainee surgeons in and get them into theatre, they're now watching them on the internet and they're constantly streaming this stuff. I think something like certain medical hospitals, 30% of the content that surgeons need to do can be done online. So the content needs to be created and that's what we're here to do. And what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? So our big thing is what we call the pancake. And what we've been doing, we've elevating cameras up and down. But if your news presenter is sat over here, but your sport presenter is stood facing this way against the big screen, from a remote point of view, a cameraman has to come in and do everything. We can now elevate pan, tilt, zoom, relocate, but we can now rotate the entire prompter around. So we've called it Pancake. We also have another toy, which I was struggling for a name for, and my 16-year-old son said, if you're going to have pancakes, Dad, you're going to have waffles. So we've actually got Pancake and Waffle, which is an Ethernet data and power extractor. Very, love the names. <laughs> now talk to me about who this is for and what are the future use perspective cases? So this right now is for our existing customers, whether they be corporate communication headquarters, where they have really amazing studios now, but they're using prompters. All the time they're using prompters. So people can obviously look nicely into the camera and present to them 
the information that's needed. But you get lots of different sizes of people from, you know, nice short people and then you'll know, get a, a seven foot tall NFL player come in. And it's critical that the camera is on the right eye line. So this elevation is important. But at the same time in rock and roll tours I can talk about Pearl Jam, I can talk about Madonna. The front of house cameras now been replaced by our autopods because it buys them so much more space at the room, it gives them more safety and it can all be controlled by Video Village at the back of stage. And these cameras, and we're talking whether it be Sony FR7s or Panasonic UE160s, high-end cameras producing fantastic content for long-form videos or for up onto the ego screens or whatever it happens to be, um, broadcast. We're seeing lots and lots of broadcast environments, whether it be an award show, whether it be a sporting show, or whether it be, it can be anything. We're seeing so much remote content because it's so much easier to do. And what do you think the future holds for Polcam? What does the future hold? Wow, that's a big question. It's a really big question. I don't know what the future is, but we listen to our customers. And despite the fact I've been in it for a long time, I love this journey. I love it. I get up every morning and I want to go to work. So we listen to our customers and whatever they want, that's what we're going to do. And it's really about innovating and it sounds like you've been deep in doing that. So I'm wishing you well and enjoy the rest of your show here at IBC. Thank you very much indeed.